What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. I was just out here running some dry fire practice on uh, reloading, dropping the mag, pulling the first one, and hitting that bad lever. But that's not what today's video is about. Yes, I said dry firing the magazines that I were using. The two magazines that I was using were empty mags from the last time that I was at the range. So if that's not what I'm talking to you about, then what are we doing out here? Well, today, I wanted to talk about what I feel like is the perfect chest rig for the guy who's just getting into being prepared. Uh, and shock and surprise, it's Millsurf and it's the taps. This guy's been out here shilling for his own larperator rig and then he's going to come talk to us about the taps? That's right guys, I'm talking about the taps. It is no surprise if you've been following a channel for any length of time that I'm just a simp for the taps. Man, I love this thing and uh, I think you will too and that's why I want to talk to you about it. So while yes, I do have the larperator rig coming out uh, I actually am building two of them right now. Thank you guys for uh, reaching out and placing your orders. I did want to talk to you guys about the taps. This is actually the very first chest rig that I ever got. In fact, I do believe this was the uh, second video I ever did. Uh, and there is a playlist for the ultimate taps setup. Uh, now, when you get the taps, it is going to come with the worst Y harness you have ever had. In that first video, I had taken that Y harness off and I had put a modified Alice Y harness on because the split at the Y was wider than the taps harness, so it didn't cut in as much. It had a little bit more padding, but it still kind of cut in. Uh, but when I got this, I got the tap. Now, not all the stuff that was on here, but I got the taps for like 20, 25 bucks. And then I bought the Crydex fat strap H harness that comes with the waist strap. It also comes with all the buckles you need for attaching it. This was 25 bucks. So for 50 bucks, I got probably the best setup you could ever have. So let's get into this thing here. As you can see on the top, there are eight slots. The outer two pockets are supposed to be for radios. I do still leave this one so that I could drop a radio in there and then use a supplied strap to hold it in. This one I actually keep it open for that. I can run that strap over. Uh, I could put on a bungee retention on there, but I don't know that I'll be that I will have the pistol in here all the time. In fact, it's more likely that I won't because I did build a war belt specifically to go with this rig that has the holster on here. This is just to plus up the rig, but this is not what we're talking about. I do have a couple of videos about the war belt. I'll link it up here. Uh, now you're supposed to be able to put a mag here and here, but as you can see, when it gets on your body, when the magazine's in there, you can pull it out, but once you pull it out, you cannot put it back in there. So I just leave my paint can opener that's dummy corded in there for getting out stuck casings. I did do the bungee retention mod. Now I'm not jumping out of airplanes. So this one I usually don't leave the bungee on so it's more of a fast. So it's more of a fast draw but if I'm running or rolling or feel like I need to it's that simple to throw on the retention and it can't go anywhere. 
So I like to leave the four here. Now one of the things that I like about the taps is that you can take out these extra mags and stuff, just run the four as a micro rig, uh, and it's still pretty nice. But what I have done, since I can't use these two, uh, and the outer two are for something besides the mags, I run the four here with the retention mod. As you can see, they just uh, loop in to the molly or pals, whatever you want to call it. I added this pouch here. Um, most of the time there's going to be a Leatherman and then a flashlight in here. Uh, but if I had the pistol in here, I could put the pistol mags on here as well. Then I did put this double mag pouch on here which allows me to run eight you could remove this put two more of these and have six which would give you ten overall and at one point I did have 12 mags on here uh, as you can see there's still room left over on either side so you could mount canteens on here uh, that's the nice thing about having the molly walls is that it's Everyone's favorite catchphrase, it's Met TC. You can add and take away stuff as needed. Remember, you don't have to have it full just because you have an empty spot. I'm guilty of that as well. You also don't have to have these full all the time if you don't want or if you don't need to. These do weigh a pound a piece when they're fully loaded. So that's an extra four pounds. If you're doing the six, that's an extra six pounds. If you've got 12 mags on here, that's 12 pounds. Uh, I'm, I did put on a an IFAC pouch. It's empty right now. <gasps> an empty pouch? But this is my GP pouch, or it could be, uh, you know, my rangefinder binoculars. But just whatever, whatever needs to go in there. It's an empty spot for it. In here, I have the Milserp IFAC with more gauze and a tourniquet in here. I also have the shears tucked behind it, but easy access. On the inside of the taps, you do have these pouches. Uh, I like to keep 550 cord in here. I also keep an extra lighter and some duct tape in this pouch. And then on this side, I normally have a Boo Boo Ouchie kit in here. After you're wearing these for extended amount of time, you don't want anything that's going to be poking in on the side, really. Also, it doesn't have to be full. Uh, but that's what this space is for. And in the middle is your admin pouch. I just have maps in here. I also have the right in the rain, uh, dry erase markers, pens, pencils, stuff like that. As you can see, some of the stuff does hang down, but that's fine. I did that on purpose. So that it wouldn't be covering these mags and it would be easier to pull from. Like I said, this, this rig, just the taps, uh, and the H harness runs about 50 bucks. Uh, if you're getting it in like multicam, it's going to be more expensive. Uh, but the ACU dies really nicely, and then once you add other stuff and paint it. It looks pretty cool in my opinion. You can put two radios on here. You can have canteens. I also keep the 24 hour pack with this. This is my go-to truck rig, whatever you wanna call it. Normally it's only set up with the four, so it's in that micro capacity. It's just something quick to throw on should I need it. When I need heavier rigs, Obviously, I'm going to be running with like the split chest rig or the Immersh or the JJ's. That's kind of a lie though because I really love this taps. And a good portion of the time, I'm running with the taps. So, like I said, Grunt Perspective uh, did a video on this. Double XL dude did a video on this just the other day. 
So why am I coming out and putting my two cents in and shilling for the taps, especially when I am putting out the Larperator rigs? It's because I love this thing, guys. Would I like you to get the Larperator rig? Yes, I absolutely would. Do I think you need the Larperator rig? Met TC, but yeah. This is going to be way cheaper and way easier for someone, especially a new person, to figure out how they like to have their setup. Using the tabs is what led me to the split chest rig, which evolved into the LARPerator rig. In fact, I made my split chest rig the LARPerator rig is what it as it now is. I made that from a tabs. I got the t another tabs in multicam so that I could have one that was green and I could have one that was more brown for winter and summer. And then I decided I wanted to do a split chest rig and I just went at it with a pair of shears and cut it straight down the middle and turned it into what it is today. You don't have to go that extreme on modifying and customizing your taps, but it is literally the perfect start to anything you want to do. I mean, the Molly or Pals wall, you can run this thing slick and just have mags and nothing else on there. You can put it, you can fill this up with canteens and saw pouches and have a half a gallon of water, your IFAC, you know, a GP for your nods or whatever, and then have six, eight, ten magazines in the front plus the four in the back that are ready to go. I mean, it literally depends on what you need to do with it, Met TC. Apparently it was time for the neighbor to come out and crank his music up to 4,862. And uh, for some reason, I left the microphone for this camera at the office, so I had to relocate. That's all right, we were about done with the video anyways. I do love the taps. I think it is the perfect beginner setup. I, I think it is the perfect setup uh, for what it is. Met TC. Uh, I run the 24 hour pack with this, plus the war belt, which allows me to add a couple more canteens, a couple more mags. It also has a spot for my pistol and the pistol mags. And then, of course, the 24-hour pack has three liters of water in it. Plus, I say 24-hour pack, but, you know, redundancies, two is one, one is none. 24 hours worth of food, even though there's about 48 hours worth of food in there. I love watching all the TAPS videos that I come across. Uh, it helps me get inspiration for things. It lets me see what other people are doing. It lets me see what works for other people in their AO. Uh, it's just really cool. So if you have a TAPS and you set a TAPS up, I would love it if you would make a video and then down in the comments, add the link to your TAPS video down there. Hey fatty, go check this out. Tag me in your video in the description uh, so that when I go and look at the mentions, I can see it and go check out your video so that I can give your video some love because I love the taps and seeing people using the taps. I know there's people out there who hate the taps who are like, man, I can't believe that they issued this to us and I just left it in the plastic and never used it. So let me know down in the comments what you think about the taps. Is it something that you like running? Is it something that you would never run? While you're down there leaving me a comment, make sure you hit that like button. And then while you're down there hitting that like button, if that subscriber button is red, go ahead and click it and turn it to gray. That is the best way for you to help support the channel. It is free 99. I mean, you can't beat that. And if you already have the taps or you're considering getting something, but you kind of want to go that split chest rig design, or maybe you're trying to decide between a chest rig and an LBE, uh, make sure you go check this video out where I talk about the LARPerator rig. And then if you're interested in the LARPerator rig, I have my email is going to be in the description as well. You can send me an email 
uh, because right now I do have it open for pre-orders on the LARP Raider rig. I've got like two to build for customers. Once I get those two done first, then I'm going to go ahead and build out the rest of the material that I have. Once I do that, those will be dyed in different colors. They'll be green and brown and variants thereof. Uh, I don't have any Multicam or M81s yet, but those are coming. Once those are done, once I have the full complete rigs done, I will have them on my Etsy shop, which you'll be able to find a link to that in the link tree description down in the description box. Guys, I really cannot thank you enough for all the support that you get, you continue to give me. Uh, hitting that subscribe button, hitting the likes, leaving the comments, sharing the videos, uh, giving me encouragement and inspiration to keep going. It's been amazing. That's really all I got for you guys today. Make sure you stay ready so you ain't got to get ready, and we'll see you in the next one.